people dancing and smiling. The next three speakers are Joanna Koleva, Ali Shaba, Gary Hopkins. We can describe Zero Project Impact Transfer Program with one word, and that word is support. We define Zero Project Impact Transfer Program as a global accelerator program for us. If I could sum up the program in one word, it would be enlightening. That's how the Zero Project Impact Transfer Program helps organizations to replicate and transfer their social impact and innovations in other countries and contexts, with many success stories to tell. With the support of the program Enable, India's mobile phone-based information sharing service Enable Vani, replicated to Ethiopia and Mauritius and Greta and Stark's mobile app Greta, Providing captioning and audio description, in cinema spread their innovation from Germany to 30 countries across Europe, Latin America, Africa and Asia. An animated globe showing Europe, Asia and Africa. Martin Essel. Our goal is actually to uh, support innovators to internationalize and globalize their ideas. Um, uh, so that many, many persons with disabilities have an advantage of them. Someone speaks on a stage. Loic van Kutzem. So it's all about, rather than reinventing new social innovations, seeing which innovations have evidence that they work, and seeing how we can transfer not necessarily the organization, but its impact. From the hundreds of nominations for the annual Zero Project Award, the most replicable initiatives are selected to participate in this high potential program. A man in a wheelchair talks in a conference room. Carola Rubia. Impact transfer is a powerful concept that seeks to highlight the transfer of providing solutions with high social impact. Moses Kovdari, Program Director, Enable India. All led to one thing clearly. That's about opening up uh, you know, possibilities. Uh, possibilities that I never thought that they exist or possibilities that I have taken, uh, you know, took them for granted. Amina El Sayed. This program is simply brilliant. The Zero Project Impact Transfer Program. While great business ideas tend to go global quickly to serve clients and customers around the world, important social innovations all too often remain local or national. A man in a wheelchair kisses a woman's forehead. Well, different elements to that, I think. One is that the initial motivation of the founders of the social innovation are not necessarily as oriented towards international scaling as a typical business would be. Another element is that in terms of mindset, perhaps, uh, they're often more from a social sector, do not necessar necessarily have the tools and the expertise and the skills to think about how to scale a model. Um, and I think the overall, the infrastructure, the ecosystem is developing quickly, but not mature enough yet to really scale all those solutions. That's where the Zero Project Impact Transfer Program steps in. Again, Martin Essel. Back in 2017, uh, I joined uh, forces together with Ashoka, a uh, global acting uh, social entrepreneur. And my goal was to implement the idea of the Ashoka globalizing uh, system into uh, our uh, community uh, and to support the most important and innovative practices. Impact Transfer is an Ashoka initiative. Uh, we do this in different fields and with different types of organizations. Worldwide, 3,700 social entrepreneurs in over 80 countries receive financial and non-financial support by Ashoka to scale the impact of their innovation. With the Zero Project community, we bring in partners who can help replicate these solutions, large NGOs, foundations, um, public actors, uh, and we try to create also this supporting ecosystem or infrastructure. The goal of the program is to help proven social innovations to spread, a goal that is supported by Fundación Descubreme, the non-profit organization that fosters the construction of an inclusive culture in Chile, joined Zero Project and Ashoka as a partner in 2018 to make the Impact Transfer Program visible in the Spanish community. Carola Rubia. Most Spanish-speaking countries count with few financial support programs and low resources available. 
making a difficult panorama for the inclusion of people with disabilities. The feasibility of knowing what is happening in other countries is very difficult. Therefore, our purpose is bringing the knowledge, the human resources, the expertise and the financial support to our region. Participating in the Zero Project Impact Transfer Program. Since 2018, every year, 10 projects are selected from among the many nominations for the Zero Project Awards. Loic van Kutzem. We apply additional criteria uh, to select the projects. Criteria are long uh, in terms of to which extent is this strategic to them, um, to which extent is it a mature solution with evidence of impact, so sufficient evidence that it works. Um, to which extent does it seem replicable? Is it adaptable? Is it documented? Can it be replicated? And um, to which extent are there any experience working with partners and open to somehow let go of their work and collaborate with others? If these requirements are met, the selected projects go through a structured six-month program to prepare for international replication and clarify their impact transfer strategy with five online webinar training sessions on social entrepreneurship, impact modeling, business modeling, replication strategies and financing strategies. This year the topic is inclusive employment. So obviously they're all working in very complementary ways on the topic of inclusive employment. Um, they come from very different geographies and continents. So there's a lot of diversity within the group from a geographic perspective. Um, and they all have complementary approaches. Zero Project Impact Transfer Program is supporting Katharina Schweiger. We hope to receive a critical external assessment of our planned project. Through professional input on scaling strategies and related topics, we receive important tools and instructions to be able to make upcoming decisions. A woman looks at two Petri dishes. It has helped us to find where we should improve our business model and find the formula to finally achieve a replicable and a perfect business model, as clear and concrete as possible to be able to offer it in any country in the world. Zero Project Impact Transfer Program is enlightening. Gary Hopkins. My experience with Impact Transfer is that it has required a lot of critical thinking, which hasn't been easy. But now that we fully understand the root of the problem we're trying to solve and our desired impact, our future looks a lot brighter and clearer. Ali Shaba. And it's a roller coaster ride. We learn a lot. And definitely, it's an eye opener. Zero Project Impact Transfer Program is enabling Amina El Sayed. Having on the ground support from DPOs, NGOs and subject matter experts who already have access to persons with disabilities and the market in each of the respective countries. That would enable us to grow faster as well as develop better strategies to tackle the issues that each country faces. People go for a run to others in a wheelchair. Eva Zolova. Connecting with others in the same space allows us to find ways to work together and even complement services. We truly believe that all these will help us move forward in a sustainable way so we can achieve an even bigger impact and positive results. A community in Bangladesh. Saida Ramandani. The learning opportunity provided by the Impact Transfer through the resources materials, presentations, mentoring, interaction with other organizations has firmly developed an insight within me on how an innovation could be transformed into a scale-up opportunity. Zero Project Impact Transfer Program is accelerating. The best thing about being part of Impact Transfer Program is to uh, have access to the mentors like Susan. She's absolutely brilliant. Always constantly pushing us to think beyond what we see today as a current reality. So they are actually helping us to think uh, I mean, bring the future to the present and visualize the replication. People working with personal computers. Mira Shenui, India. Working hands-on to develop a business model with revenue projections sharpens our thinking. Mentors too have been very involved in the discussion. 
we do think the smart inclusion center which we would like to replicate will now be a reality. Two people walking on a street. Brazil. It has been an amazing experience. Very challenging because it makes us go out of our comfort zone, but at the same time very rewarding because we can see very fast results. While the transfer path for this year's participants has only just begun, previous participants have built on contacts made through the program to take forward replication in new countries around the world. People dancing. One of them is the Motion City Lab at Gallaudet University in Washington DC with its storybook application that provides a bilingual reading experience through high quality storytelling in both sign language and printed text. Someone presses play on a tablet, a woman uses sign language. Sign language doesn't have the same respect as other spoken languages, nor is it widely embraced or understood. This is problematic, because in sign language, access is of paramount importance for deaf children, as having access leads to strong literacy skills, academic growth and healthy cognitive development. The Sebanki program officers understood this. We invited Melissa and the Galuda University to our local in, local philanthropy seminar in Turkey. We introduced them to a local NGO, Association of People with Hearing Impairment of Turkey, and they exchanged know-how. With the collaboration they started, they applied to our grant program. We are currently supporting the project. In this way, we managed to replicate a successful model of the impact transfer program. People playing percussion instruments. With this and many other success stories, the Zero Project Impact Transfer Program shows the powerful effect of joining forces and its high potential for a barrier-free world in the future. A man in a wheelchair wheels into an office. We now have almost 41 alumni who are all active in the field of inclusion somehow, so uh, it will be very interesting to see how we can continue working with them and perhaps foster more collaboration and more collective impact with our alumni as well, in addition to continuing the program uh, in different geographies. People signing in front of a computer. Again Martin Essel. There are also opportunities of course to support the impact transfer community. At first to support us finding the best innovative uh, solutions, uh, to act as a pro bono mentor or to act as a replication partner in financing uh, one or the other implementation. Uh, but on the other hand, there could be also an opportunity like Descubreme to concentrate on a uh, other region we have not uh, found so far and uh, to do this work uh, for the big uh, Zero Project community. A woman signing, another woman smiles, a man salutes and gives thumbs up.